Okay guys, welcome back here. I want to show you today how to test an air pressure switch. You may have uh, one wire connection, you may have two wire connection, I'll explain both of them. Um, so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the ohms meter, or to your multimeter and turn it to ohms, which is the little horseshoe looking symbol. And if you have the one wire, simply check one side of it and ground. You should have continuity. Did you see the numbers just jump up on the multimeter? Right now we are offline. Now we have continuity. Therefore, the connection is there. When air hits this switch, this is correct, by the way. This is the way that it should be on this switch. Um, this is a good switch. When air pressure comes into this switch, then what happens is it closes the circuit. When you push on the brake pedal, it will then, uh, I'm sorry, it opens the circuit. When you push on the brake pedal, it then closes the switch again and makes the connection to the lights. Now, let's say, for instance, you have two prongs on here. You have this prong and a second prong over here. On that one, all you have to do is just touch going across. Just on one side of the wire and once, even though it's isolated here, we don't care about that because the connection gets broke on the inside. So just connect it to the one wire here clip and the other second wire clip, and you should have continuity just as we did across here with ground. If you have ohms or continuity, meaning the same thing in this circumstance, then the switch is good. If you do not have any, then the switch is bad. Now, a common uh, problem with these switches are, as my buddy John Morris, uh, he's having the same problem. His lights are staying on. By the way, if you get a chance and John Morris comments to this, click on his name and check out his video, Come Back Home. Great job. Great job. You did an excellent job singing that, John. I enjoyed watching it, and thanks for uploading it. So John's problem is, is that he has his lights always on on his truck. Therefore, that tells me that not only does he have a connection across here, but when the air pressure builds up on the switch, it doesn't break the connection. He should have a connection when he hits the pedal, not when the pedal is up. If the pedal's up and it's not pressing, it shouldn't have a connection. If you have a connection across there at that point with air pressure on the bottom, then it's a bad switch. You should have no connection. So in this case, with it out of the vehicle and no air pressure, we should have a connection going across there. We should have voltage just as you do right now on the multimeter. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. So once again, let's recap. If you have one, check across the wire connection to ground and make sure that you have continuity. If you have two prongs, check across the prongs and make sure you have continuity. If it's in the vehicle and there is no air pressure built up in the vehicle, you should have continuity going across. If it's in the vehicle and you have air pressure built up, even 10 pounds, because it doesn't take much to turn on the switch, then you should not have continuity going across this switch. I hope that makes sense. So please click like, please click subscribe, click on my underneath uh, this video on my name for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy. Thanks again, John, for the great comment.